For this week's episode of Know Your CEO, we get to interact with Keeps Technical College founder and director James Muthaka. He gets to walk us through the journey of growing the institution from 50 students in 1996 to 5,000 students currently. We also talk about the cost of education in the country and what the institution is all about. Take a look. Ever want to know how a CEO sees his world and here's how? Apart from running an organization and strategizing, their key role is to ensure there is money in the bank. Our CEO this week is Mr. James Muthaka, the founder and director of Kips Technical College. Mr. Muthaka, thank you for creating time. Please describe to us your journey to being the founder and director of Kips Technical College. Uh, Kips Technical College started a small college which was training only in IT. But over the years, we have expanded to other programs, hospitality, business, IT, um, uh, engineering, and uh, languages, many other courses. So, so it starts small, but it has grown to a bigger college. When was this? We started in 1995. 1995? Yes. So you're basically about 26 years old? Yeah, we are 26 years old. Year old, yes. Then now to actualization, to the number of students you started with, yes. the number of students you have now. We started as a small campus with maybe 50 students. Now we have about 3,000, and um, so we have grown. Yes. Uh, COVID-19 affected many organizations. Others struggled with operations. Yes. Others even shut down. How did COVID-19 impact KIPS? You know, when COVID-19 came, we, were, we had not expected it. This was a once-in-a-century yes. phenomenon. But we quickly started adjusting. We opened our online uh, campus and we transitioned our students to online. For quite a number of departments, it works wonderfully. Business, IT. Of course, we had some challenges with departments that are very technical, like engineering and hospitality, because there's a lot of practicals which are going on there. But still, we, we, we stayed with the online program. This enables our teachers to continue being engaged. It enables our students to be engaged until we are able to reopen. What vision do you have for KIPS Technical? We are going to continue training people at the technical level. In other words, we have a lot of universities in Kenya today. These graduates, engineers and the others, they need technical people to work with. And that's our focus. We are putting up our own campus in Donholm next year to be able to produce us, uh, to have state-of-the-art facilities, to, to continue producing these people at the technical level. Your graduates, uh, yes. Mr. Mutaka, you yes. said you now have more than 3,000 uh, students. Yes. So that means you have more than 5,000 graduates. We graduate uh, at least 1,000 every year. 1,000 every year. Yes. Those are very many graduates. Yes. How do you help them, um, uh, you know, secure the, uh, jobs out there? The first thing we help them to is to get attachment. Because, you know, our graduates, when they graduate, they ask, do you have experience? So the way we overcome that, we are attaching them to the various companies in various fields, and we have an office that's doing that. That office also, after attachment, we try now to, to place them, to do job placement. And even where we are not able to place them, we try to train them how to get the placement. In this placement journey, mm. uh, do you consider some courses more marketable than others? Uh, obviously, certain courses are easier to place than others. Yeah. And maybe uh, there are those who are watching at home and they've just uh, cleared the uh, high school and they're wondering uh, how do I join KIPS and, how, when, and what grades do I, do I need to have to qualify to join KIPS? If you have your C minus, we're able to take you. Uh, if your grades are a bit weaker, the level you start, we have uh, three levels. Artisan, certificate, and diploma. Now the level you start also will depend on the grades you got. If your grades are much weaker, then you have to start with artisan then go to certificate, then go, go to... If your grades are mid-level, you start with certificate. If you have good grades, you can come and start with a diploma. The second part of I Know Your CEO yes. is called Quick Fire. Yes. And here we get to know Mr. Mutaka a little bit more, away from the office yes. and this serious uh, yeah. setup. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Mutaka, when yes. you hear the term half-baked, yes. what comes to mind? Not well done. 
not well done. Yes. How do you deal with disgruntled and striking students? Uh, we uh, talk to them, we counsel them, we work with them. We have a counseling department. Yes. Do you consider education in Kenya expensive? Education is expensive, um, but we try to make it as affordable as possible. At KIPS? At KIPS, yes. Uh, there is a debate between talents and academics. Yes. Please weigh in with this. There is a debate between talent, but I think also both talent and academics yes. have, um, have, have, have somewhere they connect. Eh? You, you should take what you like. Eh? If you like uh, cooking, take hospitality. Mm -hmm. If you like journalism, take hospitality. Because you, you, you are more likely to do academically yes. where you are talented. What do you do beyond office? Your hobbies? Um, I, I love walking. I love swimming. I love meeting with friends. Looking back uh, to a younger Mufaka, what would you tell him? What would you do different? I, I think I would still do pretty much the same, although you need to do it more... Uh, you, you know, you segment your business. You have HR. What are your policies in HR? Are you having a budget? That's the key things that any business, whether big, small, or medium, should be able to do. Nothing uh, brain uh, whatever, but are you doing the basics? Is your budget working? Is your HR policy working? Is your academic policy working? Just, just lose that. I'll do a bit better of that. Thank yes. you, Mr. Mutaka. Yes. Uh, you'll sign out for us. That's your camera. You can tell them that, uh, you can tell the audience the conversation on Know Your CEO continues next Monday. The conversation on your CEO continues next Monday.